I'm going to go over a couple of these tools uh, in a short video, and then I'm going to have one um, a, a second video that is going to be more um, in depth on how to use these. But right now, what I want to do is um, use all these little shortcuts here to um, show you how to rotate, duplicate, um, the importance of the shift key, and so forth. So what I'm going to do is use the line segment tool and show you how to rotate this if you wanted to make like a sun or um, a sunrise or something like that. Think of this uh, as a project we were looking at today in class that someone was making um, a logo that had pages from a book. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, drag this out. And I'm going to get my stroke. I'm just going to beef it up to like 10 points. Okay, now how did I get a perfect line without having to, you know, go all over the place like, like this? That's where the shift key comes in. Okay, this could, we're going to use this in a few different ways, but we're going to start here with a line. So I'm just going to draw a line. I'm holding down the shift key and I'm drawing this line. It's perfectly straight. And I'm going to pick color. I'm going to increase this to about 10, like I had before. So now I have this line. Well, I want to rotate this so it's perfect. Okay, I instead of copying and pasting and trying to like, you know, figure out the best way to um, rotate these and make them look okay, you might build some shapes that are going to try to help you guide, but let's make this accurate. So I'm going to highlight this one over here in our toolbar. There's this circle that's, or uh, it's an arrow going in a circular motion called the rotate tool. I'm going to double click on it. When you do that, you get options. So if you double click really on most of these, um, double click on the line segment, it will ask you like the length that you want to make, uh, degrees and such. So double clicking these um, is worth your while just to kind of see what's going on. I'm going to double click on this rotate. Um, I'm just, I know that um, 45 degrees divides into uh, 360 uh, equally. So um, with this preview checked, I see a preview of what's going to happen. Okay, so um, let's say I, I want to try like 55. Instead of clicking this over and over, I can hit tab and see the difference. All right, well, I know I want to do 45. And what I want to do next, instead of just doing OK, that's all I did. I rotated it. That doesn't solve the problem. So I could copy and paste, copy and paste, and you know deal with it that way. Or here's the easy way. OK, I'm going to do this at 45 degrees. I'm going to hit copy here. And all this is going to go away. Copy. Here's the original one. Here's the new one. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to use uh, command D. What Command D does is it's going to copy. Well, it's going to take what I copied and it's going to paste it, but it's also remembering what I did with that as far as rotating. So Command D, I'm going to hit it. Many times I want to hit it, it will do its thing. Okay, so now I kind of got this star. Let's say, um, let's see how easy that was. Let's say if I uh, do this again. I want more to it. We're going to do 15. Copy. I'm just going to make a whole bunch of them like that. All of a sudden, I got this sun. Now, um, everything right now is a stroke, right? So if I want to get rid of some of this, maybe this isn't what I want. I want to make uh, some of this go away. So I just have like a sunrise. Well, if I select them all, I'm going to go up to Object, Path, outline stroke. So if I outline the stroke, this turns into a shape. See the fill here? There's no more stroke. There's all the uh, parts in the middle. Well, I'm going to next go to this Pathfinder tool, which is this thing. And there's a couple different options in here. I want to use this one called Unite. When I click on this, everything is now connected. But the problem is, is I wanted only half of this. So what I'm going to do now is use the direct selection tool. And I'm going to click like out here. And I'm just going to drag across like this. 
you can see only these down here are connected or uh, selected. Then I'm going to hit delete. There it is. Looks like there's a few points left over. I'm just going to see if I can find those. There they are. And there is my little blue sun or whatever you want to do with it. Okay, so that is the uh, first video on how to rotate, duplicate, use the shift key. We're going to get to align um, in this next one. And uh, hope you, hopefully you'll check it out.